Katie here uh, from This Mama Makes Boys and I'm here today with Georgie and we just wanted to talk to you about cloth nappies. Now um, local councils um, or most local councils have a scheme um, that will provide you with some kind of help in starting to use cloth nappies. Um, most of them will provide you either with £50 worth of products or £50 um, towards buying cloth nappies. So get in touch with your local councils and see what you're entitled to. Now we live in Hertfordshire and uh, Hertfordshire Council have um, partnered up with Close Poppin Nappies and Top Spots Nappies. Um, and we actually received a £100 uh, starter kit. Um, so I just wanted to show you what we'd received and um, talk you through the nappies and what to do with them because when I received mine, I, it took me ages to, um, to put some on Georgie. Um, I just didn't know what to do with them. Um, I didn't know how long to leave them on, I didn't know how to use them, I didn't know if there was anything special to do, I didn't know how I was gonna wash them. So um, I just thought I'd talk you through what we received and just uh, some very quick information to just get you started. So. From Close Poppins, we received these. Um, we received three nappies, the orange one with bamboos, purple one, bamboos, and a green one, which is microfiber. And we received one nighttime booster, which looks like this. From Top Spots, we received a pack, uh, sorry, a roll of uh, disposable liners, Peanut pads, just two of them. I don't want to put them on the floor. Um, a peanut wrap. A bamboozle. That's part of the bamboozle. And a Easy Star all in one, A-I-O, all in one. So um, I'll just talk you through the close nappies then we'll have a look at the top spots. So the close nappies, this one is the microfiber one, which I thought when we got it is a nighttime nappy, but it's not, it's just a regular nappy, it's just a different um, oh. different material that they use. You okay, Georgie? <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. Uh, it's just a different material that they use. So uh, you open them up and inside they have soakers and boosters. So I'll just take this one to bits and show it to you separate. Okay. So this is the outer wrap. Um, it has these uh, laundry towels, which I thought were very clever, uh, but all of the nappies have them and it's to stop uh, the Velcro go in funny in the wash and to stop the Velcro ruining your nappies. So just a Velcro tub like that so when you put them in the wash they don't ruin anything. Uh, and these in the close poppins they just tuck away into that little hole so you can't see them. Stretchy on the back. They've got a little bit of um, of waterproof in these uh, in the close ones uh, but you, you know you're not going to get much out of that at all um, and then the birth to potty which is actually um, it's one size fits most is what they say not one size fits all but if you've got a little baby from eight pounds you just snap these poppers at the front so the smallest set in and that makes a little nappy or open them up to whatever size you want. This one has three set, three different settings. Um, and they say from eight to 35 pounds is the weight range. Um, so you put your soaker and booster inside. So you just find the little poppins on the inside and match them with the outside, with the soaker. Pop that in. See what happened? 
end. And then your booster, it's got a little tab on there, uh, which is actually on the soaker of the other one. Put that in there, close your little lens over, tuck all your tabs in. Take a liner, put it inside your nappy, like so, and you're ready to go. Pop it on your baby, and that'll last you for two to four hours. Um, and then you need to change your baby. Um, so when you come to change your baby, you open it like you would a normal nappy. If there is anything solid, um, you would just empty that along with the liner down the toilet and flush it away. If um, it's just wet, you just throw the liner away and you pop your nappy in a bucket uh, until you're ready to wash it. No need to soak it, don't put anything in your bucket, just the nappy and put a lid on. Um, that's all you need. Um, these two are exactly the same, so I'll only show you one. Uh, the obvious difference is the colour. I'll show you the orange one. So the setup is exactly the same as the green. Uh, the only difference is it has got a... Uh, it's made of bamboo uh, rather than microfiber. So your soaker is nice and stretchy, made of bamboo. And your booster, just a plain booster. Um, they just pop in exactly the same. The wraps are exactly the same. You can use your microfiber boosters and soakers in these wraps if you want. You can mix and match a microfiber and a, um, and a bamboo if you want. Whatever works for you. Um, I personally like to keep... Uh, Keep together what what goes together um, a bit like a you know if an outfit comes as a two set two piece set I like to wear the top and the bottoms or I like Georgie to wear the top and the bottoms um, to match I don't like to mix and match them with anything else but you can there's nothing to stop you doing that um, so you just put it together it fits together exactly the same all the snaps are the same pop it together Tuck your ends in, pop a liner in, pop it on your baby. It's got the same snaps on the front, so it's got four, sorry, three different settings. One, two, three, and then one, two uh, of the opposite side to snap it if you want to. So they're the clothes pop-ins. And this is the nighttime booster. So if you're going to use these nappies at night time, what you're going to do is take your nighttime booster and you fold it lengthways, which I thought it looked funny folding lengthways. But it's obvious which way it goes because it's got little snaps. There. So you make kind of a roll. Put your hand in. And the last, the booster, which is the last bit that's popped into your nappy, you just slide your nighttime booster over there. Tuck it all in, and that just gives you some extra time for nighttime. Pop your liner on and use it. Uh, that just gives you extra, extra soaking time. Um, it so absorb more. Sorry. At night time, so that's what that's for. I was confused, very, very confused about this. I had to get my friend to come over and we looked at them together and decided what we were going to do with them. So, yeah, so they're the close pop in nappies. And then Tot Spots sent these. I'll talk you through this one first because it's the easiest. This is the Tot Spots Easy Star All in One. It comes in the, oh mine came, in the Parumpa Pum Pum print, which is really cute. It's children playing musical instruments. 
and this one um, the So this one, it's called an all-in-one because everything is in that you need. There's nothing extra that you need to pop in. Um, it, this bit hangs out. This is your booster. Hangs out. And all you do with it is take the end, stuff it right back up to the top. Stuff it in. Put your end in there. You just took your tabs in. Uh, pop a liner in and it's just like a normal nappy. Uh, pop it on your baby. Um, that's, that's the easiest one because you don't have to work out what to do with it. Okay. They sent this, which is the peanut wrap. So it looks like the only one, but it's got nothing in it. It's just very thin polyurethane wrap. Um, and... It's very clever. It is it's got little snaps in there inside under the velcro. It's got little snaps. And for that, we have these which they call peanut pads. There's your soaker and your booster. And um, they snap together. So you put your soaker and your booster together. And Thanks, Georgie. Thanks, Georgie. And you pop that into the little place there. Only clicks on one side. Pop a liner in and pop it on your baby. When you want to wash this one, you uh, when you come to take it off your baby, if it's wet, just get rid of the liner down the toilet. If it's soiled, get rid of the liner and whatever else is in there. Down the toilet. Hey, Georgie. And um, then you don't have to wash this peanut wrap straight away. You can just give it a wipe out and use it again. Um, you just put the pads in the bucket ready to wash. Um, which is great if you, you know, don't have to buy loads of these. You can just buy the peanut pads, uh, which I think is the the cheapest option for doing it. Um, for doing cloth nappies is to use wraps and peanut pads if you're using tot spots. Um, this is the bamboozle wrap. It's like a sorry, it's a bamboozle stretch. It's like a, like an old-fashioned terry nappy, but it's made from bamboo. And this is for nighttime. So you, it's the same as the others it's got the snaps so you can change the size put that put a liner in it sorry actually it has a booster so you snap your booster in there put a liner in it and put it on your baby now this is not waterproof because uh, it's a nighttime uh, full nappy um, it's so very, very absorbent. Um, and then you just take your peanut wrap, which is here, and pop that over the top of your bamboozle to keep your baby dry. You just have to make sure that you run your finger around the edges. It's the same on all of them, actually. Run your finger around the edges of the legs to make sure that everything is inside the waterproof part um, so you don't get any leaks on the legs. Um, so yeah, that's what we received from um, free, absolutely free, from Hertfordshire Council. Um, make sure you go to your count local council, find out what they've got on offer, make sure you get what you're entitled to and use it. Um, you might just want to use the free stuff that you get and mix and match with disposables or you might convert fully to, disposable, uh, to cloth nappies. We are trying to convert fully, I've ordered some others. Georgie is currently wearing a, I think, let's have a look Georgie, a Bambino Mio, which I'll just show you how cute it is, <laughs> um, so yeah, you might convert all the way like we have.